Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Nettie H Creates. I am Nettie, and today I wanted to share with you a project for Saturday Morning Makes hosted by Jillian Norwood Designs Greenwood Girl Cards. And I have here several little packets of refrigerator magnets, and they don't necessarily have to be for the refrigerator, but for your office, for a file cabinet, uh, or anything like that. And I had um, quite a few of these, uh, these are the, call the, them the vase fillers that I had purchased a while ago at Joann's and I wanted to use them up. So I wanted to share with you all my little packages of magnets. They're in a set of four. Um, Let's see, so first, let me take this one. Um, I did simple bag toppers on these, and let me just open this up. Now, what I found, and on two of these packages, I neglected to do it, but when I make my items to put in these uh, packages, I always put the flap on the bottom like this so that you don't have to disturb the bag topper to get the items out. So let me just take out this package here. They fit in here rather on the tight side. Um, so what I do first is I cut out a piece of paper. Oh, here, I'm kind of out of frame. And I emboss it. I don't know if you can see the embossing on it. I can't take the paper out because it's stapled with the bag topper. But this one has, I think it's snowflakes. The, the, this one here is a Christmas theme. So here is one of the magnets. Here is another one. No, that's upside down. No, no, it's not. These are ornaments hanging off of a tree. Here's another one with an ornament. And then this one is just a little decoration ball of probably wood sticks with white glitter type stuff on them. And then here's the back. So I just want to explain quickly what I do. First I get a magazine. Now for all these Christmas ones that I have, I use this magazine here. This is one from Balsam Hill. And they've got Pretty pictures. The paper is nice in these magazines. It's a little bit on the thicker side. So I choose from the magazine a small photo of something and I cut it out. And then I take this vase filler, uh, gemmy thing, and I trace a piece of, uh, I trace around it with a pencil. And then I cut out the paper and I keep trimming the paper down until it fits nicely behind the gemstone. These stones are all different shapes. They're kind of on the oblong side, but the shapes do vary. And I, I glue the piece of paper on, I let it dry. And then I do a couple layers of Mod Podge. And then I use E6000 glue to put the magnet on. So that's this package. And then there's this one too, and I'm not gonna take all of them out. Um, but see, that's a bird or a bird, and then just a little picture from a tree, so on and so forth. There's that one. And then there's this set. So there's a little Santa ornament. And just some more ornaments. But they're, I think they're pretty. The key is, I think, to pick out a nice magazine as well with pretty pictures. And these are some more. So that's that set. Now for the next set, I believe I used this magazine, Mary Jane's Farm, for the pictures. And I even have some extra pictures in here. 
um, sometimes like the Cooking Light magazines or any of the nice magazines, they have pretty photos in them that you can use. So this one's Mary Jane's Farm. And then here are these. Well, once again, just a simple bag topper, a couple strips of washi tape, and then a little bow. Keep it simple. This one's a sweet treat theme with coffee. So let me take these out because I thought this was pretty cool to, to do this. So here is a cup of coffee. And then all the little sweets. So here's some cupcakes. A piece of luscious looking cake. And then a piece of pie with ice cream. So that was that set. And then I use just for the backing, I just cut out a piece of paper. I don't even think I embossed this one. Something that will just match the theme of the pictures. And then there's this one. So this one is a vintage theme. This reminds me of, uh, you know, Dick and Jane, that era in the, what was that, in the 50s? Um, there's the mom ringing a bell probably to tell all the family it's time to come eat dinner. That's what my mother used to do. Here's some cherries, some, I don't know if that's apricots, and then the little girl. And on this one for the bag topper, I thought I would do a cherry on top of the washi tape strips to go along with the cherry that's in that magnet. And then here is another one that I did that's another sweet treat theme. It has a Snickers bar. I believe that's Snickers. A bonbon, some biscotti, and then an Italian cookie. And I used a brown, brown backing on that one. And then the last one, I went with a Route 66 theme. I found in the magazine, they were discussing some of the historical areas in the US and one of them was Route 66. So I picked out all the, you know, some of the related pictures that all kind of went along with Route 66. I think it was um, preserving the Route 66 area. And then for the back topper, I did obviously a 66 to kind of go along with the theme. So here's a diner picture with the fries and the burger, and it says Route 66. And then here's just a snippet of, of the map. I think I have it that way, sorry. There's that, and then another one of the map, and then just saying Route 66. So I thought that was kind of a clever way to do a set of magnets. And that is it for these magnets that I wanted to share with everybody. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate you taking, you taking the time to watch my video. I would like to wish everybody a great new year. Hope it's been off to a, to a good start and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much. Bye for now.